Oh no. I need some content. I need to create. Sabbath busy. I need to get to the computer. Basically, I need to get to the computer. Stop helping me. Must make something for fans. I must make something, Missy. You must not stop me. You must stop licking me. Uh, I must review games, movies. I must improve art and get rid of this thing because this is an old art style fuck you I draw on this thing and I have games I play things I somehow live I must create something, but I don't know. Everything I do is failing. Yeah, I think this went on for too long. Yeah, so this is my room. I recorded this thing. Yeah. Blue Yeti. I've got this for basically sixty dollars. Wait, was it sixty or was it seventy? Uh, yeah, it was sixty. I got it from a pawn shop. It works just fine. As you can tell. And I uh, and sometimes I get distracted when I play games. I've been trying to think of a review for extra so shoot someone's at the door. Trying to learn piano. This is the piano I got for Christmas. In fact, a lot of things I got for Christmas. I got this BB gun for Christmas. I'm not BB gun airsoft gun. Why did I say BB gun? I love it. Cost my grandma $15. Got it from the store, and this this is my little brother's, but he doesn't use it. I like to use it to terrorize my cousins. It's pretty. You know, let me show you a demonstration. <clears throat> Let's shoot America. Oh, is a safety on? Or oh, maybe. Now it seems to come. Maybe, the, maybe that's it. And these are the bullets. Brother broke this one. Like this was his. We used to play with each other. You would see that from our from our old videos. I've been, when he didn't break it, I was trying to get him to play some games with me, but because a lot of our games were early access, he didn't understand that. Uh, he didn't fully understood what early access was. He thought all the games on this on Steam were just like buggy little crappers, or that his gate, or just that his. PC couldn't handle it, despite the game saying that they obviously could. You know what, I can show you some games. I can show you games I've been planning to review, but I don't feel like I got the big picture of it. I just beaten x like all the way through. Like, not, I'm not talking about the campaign, I just like 
got all the patrol missions done. Because they're, they're kind of difficult. I have... I've got Final Fantasy. Don't think for a second I'm a Final Fantasy fan. I am not. But I am willing to look at the game by itself without the fact that there are literally 14 games and I honestly cannot get the point of making more games other than Square Enix wants money. I will keep that I will keep that obvious glaring issue out as long as this game is good in gameplay and story. So, uh, and I also have uh, Lego Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I will not be doing a review on that because you, I can just say right now, it's not a good game. Mostly because like all of the uh, voices are actually from the movie, and it kind of feels extremely off. Like, it just makes the whole game feel off because you know these are real people voices, like, they're voices from the actual movie, and I haven't even watched The Force Awakens, and it just feels so off. I also got Saints of the Fourth, one of the best Saints Rows, just because of how absurd it is. I've recently started playing Shadow Warrior because it just became free yesterday. I also like this game. Oh, I, I used to do streams a lot. I don't like Twitch, but when I get a mic, I'm going to be doing Twitch streams because I don't know whether or not if Microsoft has allowed YouTube streams for Xbox games, which I would definitely like. Uh, you can obviously guess that these two games are for my brother. Me and my brother play lots of things. I'm just saying a lot of shit right now. This is needlessly dragged out. I. Well, I do want to say, fuck you, Bethesda. Creation Club never should have been invented. I'm not even a mod maker, and I know that this is stupid. This is fucking stupid. I. I know it's a dead. I know what we're talking about is a dead horse, and that they'll never get rid of it. Because Bethesda wants money. Okay, that never. Okay, I imagine got money. Let's do that then. And I've recently started playing Haw Hawken again. I can definitely say it's fun. It's one of those games I said that I said I do not have the big picture on. I am not going to be doing a review on Ark because I played a lot of it before, but it's not. It's not something I would play right now. I would definitely play it another time someday. It's definitely one of those games that you need friends to play with. It's not as fun otherwise. So wait, this is my room. I've been planning to do movie reviews. I have the director's cut of Robocop. I bought this from the dollar store. And I also have the Polar Express. A lot of peop for some reason, a lot of people say the animations terrify them. I don't know. I, when I was a kid, I loved the Polar Express. I just loved it. And I also bought this thing from the Dollar Store. I'm hoping this is a so bad that it's good movie. This doesn't even have actor speeches in it. It's literally just like you put After Effects on this. It's literally photoshopped. But of course, all movie posters are photoshopped. I have watched this movie when I was a kid, and I decided to watch it again as an adult to see if I hate it. I I don't like it. I question why the bear animations are so... Why does the bears look that way? They don't really look like bears to me. Oh, here's a review for this thing. It's lit... You can literally buy the video game and get the same thing out of it. I think it was Lego Bat. It was. It was either like Lego. No, it was Lego Batman Two. You can play Lego Batman Two because literally, that movie is Lego Batman Two with a few added scenes to make 
to put some context in it to make it feel like a movie instead of something that was for a video game. I wish I was joking. Oh, and I need... There's something I actually do need to talk about. There's a bit of cancer sitting in my room. The worst thing created in the history of man. What? Junior's Giants. Uh, this is the first episode. This is so terrible. So unbelievably terrible that I I, I actually felt ill. This is one episode. It's almost 30, I think it was 30 minutes long. And I felt like I needed to die. This has some bullshit seal saying family approved. Family approved. I almost got sick because of how terrible this is. These pictures have more I actually have better colors than the actual movie. Like, look at these things. You just look, okay, maybe this could be a so bad that it's a good thing. No. It's so bad that I am devoting my life to collecting all of these things so nobody has to deal with the pain of watching this. And if any reviewer wants this, I will personally pay for shipping for you to get it. I will have... Rebel Taxi, we live in the same state. I will mail this to you if you want this. I know you do cartoon reviews. This is so terrible that for once, this made me look up who created it. And I'll even do it right now. Just so you can see it. I forgot I needed it. this because I I easily forget how to spell things. Ba -ba -ba -da boom Shit. Angles everywhere. That's one of the songs in this stupid show. And I could say it's not the worst song I've heard. It's not even a thing that made me feel sick. I actually felt pretty okay going through the whole, th the whole episode up until the 20 minute mark. Then I actually started to feel sick. I just, like right after that, I just started hugging my dog. because of how terrible it is. I just needed something better. I immediately start watching uh, Harry Partridge just to get some high quality shit to drown out the shittiness. This thing's seriously not doing it. Who is the director of Junior's Giants? I don't know.
producer, director, and writer. Who was paid? If someone was paid, I have... Is that her name? Rachel Bloom? There are two producer credits. One director credit and one writer. I have no idea about the mu the ID holder in uh, Without You. Only thing I could think of is is the song. Oh no, that's something else. I don't really use... I guess that you're really just hiding their names, I guess. Yeah, I can't find their names. Hmm. Either way, it is a terrible thing, and I hope that we can all agree together as a family. Well, not as a family, just as a bunch, as a society, that we should find all of them and destroy them. All of these. I can't like. There's a few things in the movie. I am a movie. No, in this thing, it's not a movie. E even then, there's a few things in this thing that I can say. Okay, you can make it average. But even then, it's still terrible. Like they, and they introduced that it, that one of the characters is gonna have a running joke throughout the entire series, and that'd be is is the toilet run, is the toilet broken or whatever. And for some reason, he would always throw golf balls into it or whatever, because the guy that gave him the toilet said, "You can flush up." fuck ton of golf balls in it and it was still flush it so it, it, that's just a thing in there now and there and one of the characters this this one I think yeah I'm pretty sh pretty sure it's that one she is part of uh, of the girl scouts she got kicked out of it but now she's trying to make a profit, and now she's just a, you know, just a major businesswoman that has a fuck ton of money, and they have, like, it could be fine, just, this kid is uninteresting and boring, I'd probably want to follow that character instead, because then something interesting could possibly happen, and then this... It tries to bring in a Christian message, which would be fine if the movie was inoffensive. It was you know it was at least inoffensive on a visual standpoint. Actually had a point to it. You know had things that would make you want to keep watching. But nothing could possibly keep me watching for it. I know for a fact I have. There's a video I queued up 
on my liked videos that I was going to watch and make a review of because I thought the story behind it was you know it was good I like I like the story of the protection behind it oh there's my like videos no 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 Okay, I guess I'll go fuck myself because I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. I would wager that this movie is entertaining. I haven't been able to sit down and watch the whole thing recently. But the same time I watched 20 minutes of this shit, I didn't even finish the whole thing. I couldn't. I'm pretty sure I can get through this and I would be fine. The story behind the creation of this thing is uh, these people started make wanted to make a movie when they were children about like Legos and they've been you know, they've been uh, keep going at it since they were children. Limp syncing is fine. If I remember correctly, lip syncing is fine. I watched a little bit of it just to see how it was. Limp syncing was fine. There was, uh, there was no real characterization with the faces and mouths. They clearly showed that they CGI'd the, you know, the faces. So, they, you, you know, you can clearly do something with the mouse. That would be my only criticism of it right now. I don't see why I can't make a video about it, actually. I'd like to thank you, Sexy Coffee Beans, for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my main review of this thing and my room tour. And that little bit about me being hungry for content. Check lots of coffee and bye.